Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Paint with Faith, motivation here, starting classes at one o'clock. We're gonna be teaching some special techniques. We're gonna be teaching some uh, cool things that kids can learn. I know a lot of kids are home, for spring break. They may looking, be looking for some art things to do. Uh, but Chevis Davis here with Paint with Faith, motivation. So we'll wait a few minutes for some people to get on. Uh, as promised, for spring break, Monday through Friday, we're going to be doing some live Paint With Faith classes that you can watch, that you can learn from, that you can get some different techniques. And so we want parents, uh, senior citizens, and whoever wants to just learn to do some simple painting classes to join in uh, to Paint With Faith uh, live. Chevis Davis here, again, doing Paint With Faith lives for the week of spring break. Uh, we're looking to build an audience to see what we can offer during these trying times when people are maybe stuck in the house, not be able to go out, not to be able to create art, and definitely not be able to have uh, your painting classes. So we're going to set up a platform for you all to be able to have some painting sessions with us. The best thing about these classes is they're going to be special techniques and different things that you may not be able to, to do in our normal painting class. A little bit more in-depth, you can ask questions. We'll show you special techniques. We'll give you even more motivation, but you're going to be getting more from these classes than you would normally get in your normal paint with face setting because of the audience. Now you can actually ask the questions you want to ask, see what materials we're using, and get a more in-depth detail about what paint with faith is about and what we can do for you. So we're very, very excited to, to offer this opportunity for you to do painting classes. If you've done so, you know, bring out your art materials. What we're going to be able to do, you can do with any media. Any media meaning you can use pencils, uh, you can use crayons, you can use color pencils, you can use markers, oil pastel. The techniques we'll teach through these live Paint With Faith sessions will allow you to uh, just be a little bit more creative and get some more in-depth uh, lessons about how to be an artist if you want to be an artist or if you just want to be able to, to doodle and be able to draw. We'll teach you some special techniques. All uh, classes that we'll give will be able to use with different media. So if you don't know who we are, uh, we are Paint With Faith. We're a motivational painting company who is mobile. So we travel from uh, different locations, uh, going from West Palm Beach all the way down to Homestead. We're very excited to be able to travel to you and, and give you the painting classes you may need. Again, we're a mobile motivational painting company. So uh, we're going to wait a, maybe about two, three more minutes to get some more people on. And we're going to begin our, our daily at 1 p.m. Uh, painting classes. So if you haven't done so, get your canvas out, get your crayons out, get your markers out, get your color pencils or any art materials that you want. The steps will still be the same and you'll be able to get on and, um, and learn more about what we do at Paint With Faith. So if you're a homeschooling situation or if you know someone who's homeschooling at this time right now, you know, share this link, share them, let them know that they can be still getting some art credit. Certified art teacher was teaching art for 12 years. And so we were able to teach you some art techniques, some art lessons. You're going to get a full scope of what Paint With Faith is about uh, through these live Facebook classes that we're going to be giving. So if you know someone, share it. Uh, if you want to support what we're doing, again, we're not able to go out into the community, but we're here to come right to you uh, via Facebook Live. So if you want to support what we're doing, you can look inside the link. You see our Cash App or our PayPal. Support what we're doing here at Paint With Faith. We want to be, be able to keep going forward with what we're doing and be able to bless the world with faith. That's what our goal and our mission is, is to paint the world with faith. I uh, see DeMarcus, appreciate you, Mark. DeMarcus, for joining in. Uh, keep supporting us, share the link. And um, in about two more minutes, again, we're gonna get started with the painting. If you have uh, your painting materials, if you have crayons, if you have color pencils, if you have markers, oil pastels, get those things out, get your kids out. You can sit them around and have a watch party. We're gonna show you some special techniques on how to paint. Uh, get the kids involved if you're homeschooling. This is a perfect opportunity to, to, for them to have a break. You know, normally they'd be going to special areas and going to their special classes. Right now, we're going to give a free paint a lesson step by step. We're going to give you motivation. We're going to get you excited. We're going to give you special techniques. And we're going to be able to do that all through Facebook Live. We're going to be doing this every day uh, for spring break uh, at 1 p.m. So tune in at 1 p.m. If you uh, missed it, you can always jump back on Facebook Live, go to my page and figure out, you know, what we're doing and watch it. Uh, give your kids something to do at least for, you know, 30 minutes to an hour and they'll have an activity. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, Paint With Faith Live. So 
If you don't know what Paint With Faith is about, again, we're a motivational painting company and we're mobile. We travel to different locations, uh, servicing people, uh, senior citizens, kids, after school programs. We come to your house, your church, your school, and we set up with the canvas and easels and we teach a motivational painting classes. We believe that if you can do our painting classes, what else in your life could you achieve with just some guidance, with just some motivation, and with just some faith in yourself? That's what we're about. We want you to be motivated. We want you to be faithful. We want you to exercise your faith through a means of art. Our motto is your life is a canvas, uh, painting with faith. I see some more people tuning in. Uh, Derek Moore, thanks thanks for turning in, uh, tuning in. Janine Turner, thanks for tuning in. Bring the kids around. We're gonna do a painting lesson. Uh, in about one minute, we're going to get started. If you have materials, if you don't have to have paint. You don't have to have a canvas. You can use color pencils, markers, crayons, oil pastel, any art material work. The steps will be the same. Uh, simple lesson. We're going to be doing this every day at 1 p.m. for spring break. Uh, share this with somebody. Yeah, we're, we're about to conduct a, a, a virtual class. So if you want to be able to do this, uh, cousin, you know, go ahead, join in with us. Give us some likes, share this. If there's kids, you know, homeschooling or kids stuck in the house, it's going to be an activity for them to do. And we're going to be doing this all week for the week of spring break. We know the kids are home. Uh, we know a lot of adults are home. You guys can do this together as a family. This is a family activity. Uh, but we're going to be able to motivate, keep you motivated, keep you acclimated to doing art. Again, Paint with Faith, uh, virtual classes. We're going to be doing this on Facebook Live, 1 p.m. every day uh, for the week of spring break. And uh, if you haven't done so, get your materials. I'm going to show you what we're using on today. We're going to start off with uh, these two brushes. we got a big brush and a small brush. I like to use uh, Taclon brushes. All right, you can see that Taclon brushes. It's nice. I use, like to use the plastic handles. They last longer. If you're going to get some brushes for your kids, if you're going to be able to uh, get some brushes for your students, uh, I don't like to use the wood ones. If you leave the wood ones in the water, they'll swell. And this will begin to come off and your brush is ruined. Again, tack line brushes. I'm going to give you in this class special techniques you would normally uh, would not get in a, a normal painting class with Paint With Faith. I'm going to give you special techniques. You can be able to ask questions. I'll give you a perfect answer uh, from a professional art teacher, a professional artist, and a certified uh, life coach. I got all those things involved. Again, we're taking life coaching. We're taking an artist. We're bringing those two together and uh, marrying those two together and that's where you get paint and face from. Again, tackle on brushes, we're going to use a big one and a small one. This is a low budget class. You don't have to go spend all your money if you want to. Uh, get the best materials, go for it. If you want us to be able to do that, go for it. We're just going to take some napkins to dry our brushes. We've got a simple bowl of water. We've got a paper plate with some colors on it. We're going to use all these colors, red, blue, yellow, green, uh, black, and white. The primary club colors plus secondary color green. Then uh, black and white, in case you didn't know, are not colors. They are neutral, all right? Uh, and those are considered hues. We're going to be using this 8x10 canvas, a small canvas. Uh, again, you can pick these up from Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Even Walmart has paint and brushes. Go ahead, grab those. Again, we're going to be doing this every day uh, for spring break at 1 p.m. Free classes. Share this with people that are homeschooling. Share this with your friends who may be home with the kids. They need an activity. Paint with Faith got your back. We're going to be motivating and we're going to be painting. We're going to bring those two together and get you excited. All right, so if you're ready to get started, give me a thumbs up. Give me a heart. Uh, we're ready to get started. Take your canvases. Listen, you don't need paint. You don't need brushes. All you need is some art materials. You can get a pencil. You can get paper. You can get color pencil, markers. All those things will work with the steps that we got going on right here. So uh, get ready. Grab your materials. Grab a paper, pencil, canvas, brush. We're about to get started. All right, we're going to start off first with our small brush, okay, small brush, and we're gonna start with the color red, okay? Small brush and red, again, we're using tack line brushes, plastic handle, you can leave it in water for a little bit, it won't swell up and, and go bad, but we're gonna start with that brush, and we're gonna do a medium sized circle right in the middle with the color red, a medium circle uh, with the color red, just gonna go around here, all right, and today we're gonna be painting a, a colorful parrot, all right, colorful parrot, all right, it's not a perfect circle. We also believe there's no mistakes in art, just room for opportunity. So there will be no mistakes made on today. Just room for opportunity. Uh, you may make a happy accident, but we don't make mistakes in Paint With Faith. We don't, we don't make mistakes. We don't take losses. We don't take L's. We only learn lessons, okay? So we're gonna get motivated and we're gonna paint on today. Set, next step, we're gonna do kind of like a, a arc right underneath that circle. I'm gonna make a small arc 
right underneath that circle. Again, if you're just tuning in, uh, Coach Powell, what's up? Um, if you're just tuning in, we're doing motivational painting classes for the people that are stuck at home. We're going to be doing free classes for the week of uh, spring break. Get your kids involved. Share this video. They'll have activities throughout the time. All right. So we got the circle. We got this little arc right underneath. Down here, we're going to make a dot. Boop. All right. So we'll have that dot down there. All right. That's going to be our reference dot to help us get through this couple steps of the painting. Okay. Again, tuning in. We're going to do a spring, spring break uh, Paint with Faith live sessions. Uh, get your kids involved. You can use, you can use pencil. You can use paper, markers, color pencils. We're going to give you all those steps. Same steps will apply with any material, all right, any media. So from there, we're going to use this dot as a magnet, all right, we're going to pull down. It's going to pull us to that magnet, pull, 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 pull right to that dot, okay? Again, we're doing, we're doing a parrot on today, live Paint With Faith classes. Uh, if you want to support what we're doing, check our cash out in the uh, notes and uh, send us something to support what we're doing. Anything will help at this time. We're stuck in the house. Not able to go out to the community like we normally do. If you know some senior citizens who may be stuck at home, you can sit with your mom, your dad, your uncle who may not be able to get out at this time. And we could do a motivational painting class with them. Bring some materials. You can get your materials from Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Sam's, um, Walmart. You know, go ahead and just grab a paint canvas. You could can use markers or whatever. All right, again, we're going to use this dot as a reference point. We're going to act like it's a magnet. We're going to try to pull out, but the magnet will pull us back. So we'll curve out, the magnet will pull us back and bring us right back to that die. All right, again, we're making a parrot, colorful parrot. Simple steps, get the kids involved, get them active, uh, you know, share this message. And what we do, we do a motivational painting class. We want you to be excited and motivated uh, through art. And thank you all for joining in. And here we go, we're gonna use that dot one more time. We're gonna start right here, okay? And then that dot's gonna pull us right to that point again. We'll bring it close. The magnet will pull, pull, pull right to the dot. We're using that dot as a magnet right now. All right, so you can see the, the bird starting to develop. All right, we're doing a parrot at this time. Now, within the face, we're gonna make the letter C. All right, right in the face, we're gonna make the letter C coming right around, right here. All right. Again, paint and face motivation, stay tuned. We're gonna be doing this every uh, day at 1 p.m. Every day at 1 p.m., live on Facebook, join in, get your kids involved, get active, y'all can paint together. You don't need materials. Again, you just need, you can use paint with, uh, painted materials, you can use color pencils, crayons, whatever you want, markers. Right here, we're going to connect the neck of the bird, right here. All right, all these paintings are, we're doing are stylized. They don't have to be perfect. We believe there's no mistakes in art, just room for opportunity. We believe that if you can do these paintings, what else could you achieve in your life with just some motivation, some guidance, and just some faith in yourself. If you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to buy houses, if you want to be a real estate agent, if you want to start a business, if you want to learn to dance, sing, or act, listen, put your faith into it. We always start our classes off with if you believe you can achieve, and that's a true statement. Whether you're right, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. You got to be able to believe that you can do it and you can achieve any goal with those three steps, motivation, guidance, and just some faith or belief in what you and your abilities can do. All right, so we're done with that part right there. It's looking good. Appreciate you guys for joining in. We're gonna clean our small brush off at this time. You should have a bowl of water. Again, we're doing a very low budget for the kids who may not have the materials. We're doing a low budget. We got a paper plate. We just got a regular a styrofoam bowl. We got some napkins and uh, any brushes to do at this time, you could probably go to Dollar Tree or Family Dollar and get some brushes just for the technique for this, this point in time. Again, they may not last that long, but you know, for this uh, assignment of what we're going to be doing throughout this week, it's going to be simple steps. All right, again, we're using Tacline brushes with a plastic handle. Uh, they last longer. You can leave them in water for a little bit. They won't destroy. The wood handles will start to corrode and swell, and then your handle will come off. You don't want that. So... I'm using Tacline brushes right now. We're going to grab our big brush and we're going to get some green and we're going to just paint all around our bird, all right? All around our bird is going to be green. Let's imagine that this bird is in a rainforest somewhere, all right? A rainforest somewhere for people just joining in. 
Again, we're going to be doing these Paint With Faith spring break classes for the kids that may be stuck at home. Uh, we know school is out, uh, but there are some activities they can be doing. They lost last week at school. You want to catch up on some art lessons. Uh, Coach Davis, Mr. Davis, Chevis Davis, we got you. We're going to be doing these classes at 1 p.m. every day. Get your kids in front of the laptop, in front of the tablet, get the art materials, and we're going to be painting different things every day for the next week to be able to get you motivated, get you excited, and get you encouraged and creative. Uh, I'm a certified life coach as well as certified art teacher and motivational speaker. So we, we got everything you need right here to get you motivated, get you excited, and to be able to I'm even a best-selling author if you want to check that out as well. So we're also just going to be painting this. If you support, you like what we're doing, check our cash out, shoot us something. Check our PayPal, shoot us something. We're doing free classes this week. We want to be able to uh, be a service that provides for the people that needs this service at this time. If your mother, your aunt, whoever, stuck at home, nursing home, assisted living facilities, we got mm -hmm. you. We got your back. We want to be able to uh, fill this, this void that they may be having to be creative. We're going to fill it up with some painting classes for you to be able to have something to do during that time of need. Art is therapeutic. You can relax. You can feel good. And also, when you finish, you can feel accomplished. Again, we're just going to be painting the whole background. This is the rainforest this bird is in. We're doing a very simple painting for today. If you want to go back, we did a landscape last week. Last week, Friday, we did a landscape. You can go back in and check that out. And by the end of these classes, you will have a, an array of art assignments or paintings that you can do. You can try them in paint. Then you can try them in crayon. Then you can try them in uh, pastels or whatever media that you want. But we want to just give you the opportunity to have these art lessons uh, while art teachers may not be in school. But your kids love art and they're missing these opportunities. We got your back. Mr. Davis here. Chevis Davis here. Uh, the art entrepreneur and we're here to give you what you need so we're filling this whole background with green all right you can get your materials like I said from Walmart you can get them from Hobby Lobby get it from Michaels Joann's fabrics those are multiple places wherever you, there should be something nearby with at least some art materials just to get you started at least for this week for what we're doing all right we looking good looking good again today we're doing uh, a colorful parrot. Share this with somebody you know. Uh, let them know we're doing painting classes every day at 1 p.m. Get you involved. It's looking good. Looking good. We're doing an 8 by 10 canvas. Small canvas today. Alright. We got the background done. Doing good. You know, clean the brushes off. Uh, if you know any kids that need this, you know, send this link to them. I uh, share it. We got your back. Alright. We're cleaning the big brush off now. All right, we're going back to our small brush. All right, small brush, and we're going to get the color uh, yellow. Again, simple steps. Paint with Faith Live uh, for anyone who wants to be able to paint with us. We're going to do a line only on the wing, all right? We're not going to go completely across the body, and we're going to make kind of like a band. All right, that's kind of hard to see. See that band right there of yellow? All right, that's what we're going to do right there. We're just going to go those two lines. Again, you could do this with paint. You could do it with markers. You could do it with color pencils. Steps are still the same, oil pastel. All right, we're going to make two lines right there. We're going to fill in that space all yellow. And what I like to do, again, with different techniques for these classes that you may not get in a normal class, is you want to paint down in very short strokes so that these strokes look like feathers, all right? I always tell my students that art is an optical illusion and that we want it to look like something that is not, all right? It's just art. It's paint. But we want people to believe that it is what it is when we paint it. All right, so we're doing these very short strokes, very short strokes to make it look like feathers. All right, when you look into it. All right, you can see that kind of texture. That's what we want. All right. Once you've done that, we're gonna clean our brushes off again. We're looking good. Dry that brush off real good. We're gonna go into our blue. All right, going into blue. Going into blue. Again, Paint with Faith Live, 1 p.m. every day for this week of spring break. We want to get you involved, get you activated, uh, get you motivated uh, through art, paint with faith, motivation. And uh, again, there's no mistakes in art, only room for opportunity. So we're making some great opportunities here. We're going to go with this blue at the bottom part of the wing. We're going to fill that in. We're going to even paint over that red. Again, very short strokes.
to give the illusion that there are feathers right here, all right? So we want it to look like feathers. Any age can do this. Three-year-olds might struggle. Four-year-olds may do better. Five, six, seven, and up. We got you. They can do this. Take their time. Give them some patience. Give them some activity. And we're going to mess up that line right here. We're going to go a little bit up into that yellow. Very short strokes just to give the illusion that it's feathers. You see that technique? It's looking nice. All right. Now, when you was in art class, when I was in art school, all right, we weren't allowed to leave any white space. All right. If anybody on here who had art class with me, you know, if you left negative space on your artwork, it'll drop your grade down to like a B or a C. You can't leave negative space. So make sure all those spaces are filled in. All right. Again, paint with faith and motivation. We're going to do free classes uh, for this week only. All right, look at that feather. It's looking good, looking nice. Again, we want to do very short strokes right here to give it the illusion that it's feathers. All right, we want that to look like, like feathers. All right, looking good. If you're done and happy with that, we're going to clean our brushes off again. All right, looking good, looking good. Again, paint with faith motivation is about believing you can achieve your goals. Uh, we use the art as a means to motivate you. Our motto is your life is a canvas painted with faith. And if you can achieve this painting, all right, just this simple painting, then what else in your life could you achieve with just some motivation, some guidance, some faith in yourself? Uh, we believe that you can do it. If you can believe, then you can achieve. Um, you can uh, learn from your mistakes. This is an opportunity to exercise your faith. If you're not an artist, it's going to take a little bit more faith. Uh, and that's good. You got to be able to exercise this. You may feel hesitant to take those steps. You may feel scared to take those steps, but you got to be able to take those steps in the right direction. This is a means for you to understand that you have a blank canvas, which represents your life. You just got to get to it, go through the process, and through that process, you'll be able to achieve your goal, your dreams. When you think you make mistakes, no, you won't make mistakes. You create new opportunities. You go left, you correct right, and you keep on going straight, all right? Some small brush again. Uh, we're going to red this time. We're going to fill in this top part of his wing. Again, very short strokes. Very short strokes to give the illusion, to give the look, to give the texture of feathers. All right. So we're going to do these very short strokes. Kind of doing them at an angle because feathers don't usually go straight down. But we want to give uh, the illusion that there's some nice uh, flowing feathers here. We're going to go a little bit into that yellow. All right into that yellow band. We don't want it to be too straight. We don't want it to be too perfect because this is, as we did in our last class, organic lines. And you see that we're just gonna come right over it. All the lines don't have to be perfectly straight, all right? As you look at a bird, the feathers are not gonna be perfectly manicured, but there we go. From that, we're gonna go ahead and paint in this neck. All right, our bird is starting to come to life. It's looking good. Again, short strokes to resemble feathers. Let's go ahead and color in our head. Have these strokes you know curving back a little bit that's what we want again paint with faith live for this week of spring break get the kids activated they may want to go outside and play that's fine but when they come inside they have an art lesson that you can do with them um, you can walk them through these steps and they'll be able to have a beautiful painting at the end that they're proud of the best part is they can try over and over until they perfect it um, they don't just have to remember steps. Thank you, Danielle, for joining back again. Um, again, we're doing Paint with Faith Motivation. It's week 1 p.m. Share this link, all right? If you want to support what we're doing, we got our cash out. We got our PayPal on there. Help us out um, to be able to keep going forward and doing what we're doing. Uh, we're ready. If you need art materials, again, Michael's, um, Walmart, Joanne's Fabrics have all the materials you need. You can also do these steps with color pencils, uh, crayons, oil pastels, any material will do. The steps will be the same. I just follow along with us. We love to paint. If you have painting materials, you can do it as well. All right. So we so far we got the head, we got the wing. We're gonna go ahead and do the chest and belly of the bird. All right. So we're just gonna do again short strokes, short strokes. It's okay if that green get in there. It'll give us some kind of a nice uh, gradient texture. All right. Give us some difference between the chest and the wing so it doesn't look all the same we can just overlap that a little bit darker red I like it again when I paint I don't like to clean my brush off a lot 
Um, that's just a technique that I use. I like all the colors to, to mix together. All right. So again, we're just painting this colorful parrot. If you want to know more about us, you can check out paintwithfaith.com. See what we're about. See what we're doing. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Make sure you follow us on Facebook at Paint With Faith. And just see some of the stuff we've been doing over the time, who our clients are. If you've got a, a senior parent that may be home just watching their soaps or watching the news, this is something that they can do. You can do with them. Y'all can do this together. Instead of just sitting in front of the TV all day, you can be creating some beautiful art for your house. All right? I'm thinking about doing an adult class a little bit more in-depth, a little bit more uh, challenging. Uh, something that you may put on but if i get a lot a lot of views from this a lot of likes i see old students joining in what's up uh, if we do good with this you know we'll start building some more classes out uh, for individuals that want to come and paint or have something to do at home while they may be stuck in the house this is a motivational painting company we're here to excite you get you motivated understanding that there's a correlation between uh, your mm -hmm. abilities to create art and your abilities mm -hmm. to step out on faith we're putting those two together Certified Life Coach, uh, best-selling author, Shevin State was here. And we want to be able to get you uh, going in these times of needs. You know, give us some likes, give us some hearts. If you want to support, we got a cash app and PayPal on there uh, through these trying times. But, you know, we're doing pretty good so far. We got the bird. You can start seeing it develop at this point. Uh, again, everybody painting will look different, all right? Don't, don't compare your painting to mine just like you can't compare your life to mine. Everybody's life is different. Everybody painting will be different as well. So your life is a canvas, so you got to be able to paint it with your own faith. You can always go back, make some adjustments. There's no mistakes in art, just room for opportunity. So we're just here to support uh, what you need with paint with faith. All right, the bird is coming out good. I like it. Do you like it? Give us some hearts, thumbs up, whatever. We're going to go ahead and clean this brush off. Again, we're using tack line brushes. If you want to look them up online, tack line brushes, a couple places you can get it delivered to your house. All right, you can buy your art materials on Amazon as well get the kids active and involved and in doing something instead of playing video games netflix and all that we have some activities for you to do for this week all right so we got that so far um let's go on to the next step i'm going to go ahead stay with our small brush i'm going to give this bird a branch to sit on all right branch to sit on so we're just going to start on this side of the page i'm going to go right under his body doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. Again, it's a branch. It doesn't have to be uh, too realistic, but we want it to be kind of bumpy, all right? A little bumpy, a branch in the middle of the rainforest. All right, he could be at the zoo. It's up to you. This is your bird. All right, but again, we're just doing these classes for this week, spring break. Get the kids something to do, get them involved. If they love art like I love art, they don't want to just be sitting at home without any kind of art instruction. Let's break this branch off to a smaller branch. All right, let's break it off a little bit to a smaller branch. Looking good, nice. All right. And then we're just gonna put, very simply, very simply put some little legs underneath here. All right, some little legs underneath here. We'll just make a little curve to show where his feet are. All right, you see that? That's kind of cute, we like that. All right, just a little curve where his legs could be. We'll do another one. All right, a little curve hanging off, a little curve hanging off. I don't want to go into too much detail. I don't want anybody to be discouraged. If you're a great artist, you got this. If you're still working on it, you know, we'll just begin and go further throughout the week. We'll get a little bit more advanced, a little bit more fun. All right, we got small brush, tack line brushes, and um, we're using black. This step you really got to be paying attention to and really focus on, all right? So we're going to start at the top of the face. Okay, actually, let's, let's start here. Let's make a line right in the middle. A little short line, okay? This is going to represent where our beak will be. All right, so we'll do a little short line. We're going to come at the top of the head, and we're going to curve down and come back up. All right, so we're going to start at the top of the head. We're going to curve down, all right? And then we're going to create a little V right here. All right, a little V shape. All right, you see that? So that'll be our top beak. From there, we're just gonna come down to the bottom of the neck. All right, and we got our beat. It's looking good. I see some of you guys are liking this. Appreciate you guys joining in. Uh, again, Paint With Faith Motivation. We're doing this for the week of spring break for the kids that have some activities to do. Uh, we're painting the colorful 
uh, pair it on today. Simple painting, simple painting, nothing too complex. Uh, it's something for the kids to understand, something that they can do at home. Uh, again, you can use any art material. You can use paint, you can use color pencils, markers, crayons, and you can do this class along with us. 1 p.m. every day here on Facebook Live. Now, we're only gonna paint in, we're gonna cover that red right here, all right? And we're only gonna paint the bottom beak black, all right? We're only gonna paint the bottom beak black. All right, here we go, bottom beak black. Looking good, looking good so far. All right, looking good. Now, we're gonna take the back of the brush. All right, the back of the brush. We're gonna dip the back, all right, the back of the brush in black. All right, we're gonna just dot the eye, all right? These birds don't have a very big eye, it's a little eye, so we're just gonna dot the eye. All right, you see that? If you wanna make it a little bit better, bigger, it's up to you. Well, we're just going to dot that eye in. All right, we're doing a very simple painting, very stylized, something that the kids can do. Four, five, six, seven-year-olds can do this. Uh, senior citizens can do this. We don't want to get too complex. Uh, we're just going to do simple paintings for this week and get them involved, acclimated. If you like what we're doing, again, show us some support. Cash out Facebook is right there at the bottom. And support what we're doing. We're getting kind of far. We're almost done with this image. Cleaning our brush off, all right? Small brush, we're saying the small brush. And we're gonna get some white, small brush and white. And we're gonna paint in the top beak. The top beak is kind of like a grayish color, so you know that's why we didn't fill it in. And we're just gonna take the white and let the white mix with the black. And we're just gonna paint that beak in, cover that red a little bit, and paint that beak in all white, all right? Paint it in all white. Again, we're going to be doing these classes all week. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Tune in. Facebook Live. Got a professional art teacher. Certified life coach. Here to give you some lessons and motivation uh, for your week. If you're at home, if you're a teacher, you want to take something back to the class that you can teach your students. If you teach elementary or if you teach uh, people with special ed, uh, we're here to help you out. All right, so we got that beak right there. I might go back in with the red and touch that up. While I have white on my brush, we want to give the illusion that there's some texture, some texture on this branch. Uh, this is a little bit advanced setting, but I'm going to teach it to you anyway. Again, this class is about uh, special techniques. So we're just going to tap and pull just to give the illusion. Just tap, tap, tap and pull, right? Give us the illusion that this, this tree has some texture, all right? That's what we want it to look like, some texture. Uh, that could be your art word of the day to make it look like you can go out and reach and, and touch this branch and it has a very rough surface. The light is shining on it. We're gonna skip the feet, come around. All right, give it some texture to make it look like it's a real branch, not too flat. All right, that's what we want. All right, then we're gonna take some of that white and we'll just go right on the edge of the leg, just right on the edge of the leg. Give it some texture as well right on the toes right on the toes you know just to give the illusion that that the bird is sitting there with these black feet all right again paint with faith motivation we're here for you we got you the kids can come from outside come in the house do a painting class with us and um we're going to be here all week doing painting classes for you I'm gonna take the back of the brush again. Take the back of the brush again. We're gonna dip it in white. And we're gonna take that dot and just put a highlight right on the eye. All right, didn't show up. Let's try it again, let's try it again. All right, highlight right on the eye. All right, you see that? Oh yeah, it worked out this time, all right? Just to give uh, some depth into the eye. Again, you can always make adjustments at the end. I see my beak was kind of high. There's two things I can do. I can go in with the red and, and raise my face up a little bit so that the beak will match. I could go back in. All right. All right, it's looking good, looking good. Paint with Faith Live here. We're doing motivational painting classes. Thank you all for joining in. Uh, we're doing this all week at 1 p.m. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing painting classes uh, all week for the week of spring break. Get the kids acclimated. 
keep the kids motivated. You can take your parents uh, who may be in an assisted living facility, who may be home, who need something to do. Go get your materials from Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Joann's Fabrics, Walmart, and you'll be able to do these painting classes with us all week. We're going to do it live. Now, sometimes we may put, you know, things into the background. I'll just show you an example. I may want to uh, take some red and some green, mix it together, you know, and just create some vines in the background just to give the illusion that it's, this bird is not just in this boring background. Uh, give them something in the background so the, the painting is not too boring. We could create some dark leaves hanging down. All right, I like to create a line in the middle and then go to the left and then go to the right. Again, we can give that texture of a real leaf. I'll throw some white in there so you can kind of see. So we go a line down the middle and then we can go left and then we can go right. Again, we're going to be doing these painting classes all week for the kids, for your senior citizens. If you just want a free art lesson, we got you this week. Uh, we can't come to you uh, in person, but we can come to you live on Facebook and we're going to be able to help you out uh, with your art lessons if you want to do some art on the side. If you want to support us, again, the link is there for, for Cash App. The link is there for PayPal. Uh, in these trying times, you know, you can help support small business owners, uh, support small artists. And uh, we're here for you in case you need us. We want to be able to keep going. We can't come to your house, like we said, but we want to be able to be there uh, via Facebook to help you out, help your kids out. Some people like to throw flowers on these as well. We're just going to do some a couple dots around. All right. Just to create some vegetation out here in the background so the painting's not too boring. And throw some white right in the middle. This is just being creative and having fun. Again, there's no mistakes in art. Just room for opportunity. We're just going to tap, 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 tap in a circle. You know, make a little cluster. Tap, tap, tap. In the circle, you can experiment with any color. All right, again, this is your painting. We're just here to help, just here to be your guide. We believe you can do this painting, and what else could you achieve in your life? With just some motivation, just some guidance, and just some, some faith in yourself. You can achieve any goal. All right, so we got you right here. Just some examples of what you can do. You can throw some flowers down here as well. Again, you can play with those colors. All right, just giving you an example of what you can do. There's no limit to what you can do. Be creative. There's no mistakes in art. See what you can learn by trying out stuff. Don't be so uh, uptight about it. You can always start over. You always can do another one. All right. So we're looking good. We're about done here now. I'm going to ask the question that I always ask. Um, yeah, I have Zelle. You can use my phone number if you have my phone number. <clears throat> or you can use uh, my email chevisdavis7 at gmail.com if you want to do that. Again, we're doing Paint with Faith live here. Motivational painting classes for all ages. Uh, senior citizens, the kids. We're doing simple paintings that your kids can do. All right, simple paintings that your parents or your senior citizen parents can do. If you want to do a family activity, you can grab some canvases from Michaels. You can grab some canvases from Walmart. And you can do these paintings, you know, with the simple steps I'm giving. The best part about this is we're taking motivational speaking, we're taking art, we're bringing those two things together, and we're telling you that you can paint with faith. Your life is a canvas. You can paint it with faith. Listen, I want you to be excited. I want you to be motivated, and I want you to not be fearful in these times, all right? It's time for you to understand that fear is just false evidences appearing real. But with that, you can switch the, that acronym around. You could also say you can be feeling uh, excited and ready all right you can be ready to step out on your faith this is an example of how you can step out on your faith with a blank canvas go and do something that you've never done before get out of your fear bubble and do something exciting painting is therapeutic if you feel intense go ahead and paint you can get relaxed this is a motivational painting class i want you to be motivated with this i want you to be creative with this we always say you're more like your creator when you create so be able to create something with your kids with your family we're here to support you. Every day, 1 p.m., we're going to be doing these painting classes with you. Uh, join in, tune in. Uh, share this with people who may be doing homeschooling, who may uh, still be working on assignments. They have an activity for their art class. They got a 
professional art teacher here, Shevis Davis, and you can be able to send this to them as well. So we're almost done. I'm gonna ask you the last question before we end on the day. What do you need to be a famous artist, all right? What do you need to be a famous artist? I ask this at the end of all my classes. If you ever took my classes, you should know the answer. Just type the answer in. In order to be a famous artist, you need one thing. And what is that? Go ahead and let me know. If you want to be a famous artist, you need this one thing. Type in your answers. And today, I'll give you extra credit. And you'll be able to pass this class. Again, Paint With Faith Live. Um, it's Atkinson. How you doing? We're doing motivational painting classes here. And she should know she's an art teacher. What do you need to be a famous artist, all right? What's the one thing you need to be a famous artist? Um, go ahead, type your answer in. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, we're finishing up our class here. Before we finish, I want to make sure we get the answer. It's our final art uh, test. What do you need to be a famous artist? Go ahead and write the answer. I want to see what answers we get. I want this to be interactive. In order to be a famous artist, you need this one thing. What is that? Type it in for me right now. In order to be a famous artist, you need this one thing. All right, you can always go back, check this out. If you want to support what we're doing, you can hit our Cash App. You can hit our PayPal. Uh, support us uh, in these hard times, these rough times, not be able to go out to your house, to your church, to your school, or to your senior living facilities. But we can come to you live uh, through Facebook, and we're going to be able to do some paintings on this week. Every day, 1 p.m., you can do it with crayons. You can do it with markers. You can do it with color pencils. You can do it with oil pastels. Uh, give me the answer. There's nobody typing in anything at this time. If you need to be a famous artist, what do you need to be a famous artist? Uh, you need one thing before we finish this painting, before we finish this lesson. Somebody let me know what do you need to be a famous artist. Somebody's got this answer. We got a couple people online right now. Nobody got it. All right, we're going to close the class. Nobody's getting any extra credit on today. In order to be a famous artist, you need one thing. And that's your signature, all right? People got to know your signature to be famous. Think about some of the artists you know, Monet, Degas, and why if they never sign a name, people would never know who they are. And the most famous artist, I think, in the world is Disney. Every time you see Disney Plus, every time you see Disney World, that's his signature. That's how you know who he is. So we're going to sign our work. I'm going to sign it over here on today. Chevis Davis. All right, right here on the end of this bird, two dots. And now you got you a famous painting. Thank you all for joining in on today. Again, Paint With Faith Live. We're going to be doing this every day for this week, 1 p.m. Tune in. We did a colorful parrot last time. We did a beautiful landscape with palm trees. Uh, share this with somebody you know and love. Let them know that we're going to be doing these classes. They can take it to their kids. They can send it, sit down together, do some painting. We're going to close the class out. Again, your life is a canvas. Painting with faith, your words, and your encouragement for the day. It's the V over your fearfulness. Uh, fear stands for false evidences appearing real. We wanted to stand for it that you're feeling excited and ready. This new opportunity with this virus is going around, but we want to uh, hush that right now and focus on the good things. The time we get to spend with our family, the time we get to uh, be in the house, the little breaks that we get, uh, the hustle and bustle is now going to be able to cease, slow down, stop to be able to really focus on what's important. And that's being who you are today and focusing on your new levels of respect for yourselves and individuals around you. I think this uh, virus has brought some peace around the world. It's very exciting because now people have to stop fighting. They have to stop worrying about things that are petty and focus on a real matter at hand, it's, which is being a human being and being careful and loving to the people around us. Thank you all for joining in today. I appreciate you tuning in. If you need to go back and watch the steps, do that. Remember, this is Paint With Faith. Your life is a canvas. Go ahead and paint it with faith.